So the best type of epoxy color coat for interior floors and walls is a high build epoxy, something that uh, is tough and durable, but gives you lots of uh, color options, decorative options in that uh, interior space. Something like the Chem 100, this is a two-part epoxy, 100% solids, high build, no odor, uh, no uh, hazardous components, very easy to use, you can roll her and squeegee it out, and we have plenty of colors you can use with the product, either to mix in or to pigment into the coating. This is the Chem 100 High Build Epoxy Coating. An epoxy coating is a two-part coating that's either roller or squeegee applied onto the floor or the wall and it gives a protective layer to that surface. It brings in color and reflectivity into an interior floor or wall space. The uh, Chem 100 is a two-part high build epoxy coating that comes in uh, a range of standard colors plus we have many color options as far as adding in color chips or metallics to give lots of uh, decorative options to the homeowner or to the architect. Uh, it's very chemical resistant and it's very easy to use. Nice, flowable, spreadable product that can be applied in a range of thicknesses. So an excellent choice for interior floor and wall applications. So our Chem 100 is a two-part high build epoxy coating that uh, is mixed together and either roller or squeegee applied out onto the floor. It's a high build product, comes in a wide variety of colors, or you can broadcast in color flakes, uh, color quartz, or metallic pigments can be mixed in to give you a wide variety of looks. Very chemical resistant, very wear resistant, and brings lots of color and reflectivity into an interior floor or wall space. Typical epoxy color coats are two-part products that you mix together and then you spread them out with a squeegee and a roller or you back roll the product and can be applied to a floor or wall to give it uh, protection and to give it a range of color options. The Chem 100 epoxy coating that we have is a high build epoxy. There's no solvents in it. It spreads out very easy to use, there's no odors involved, and it can come in a clear color or in a pigmented, and you add the color to it, either uh, uh, color packs or metallics, or you broadcast flakes or quartz into it. So lots of options uh, to give you a, a nice looking floor or wall, but also provide you with this high build, high protection to your floor or wall surface. The Chem 100 has a lot of advantages over store-bought uh, epoxy coatings, retail or big box stores. The Chem 100 is a high build, high solids epoxy coating. There's no odor, there's no solvents in the product, so you're not dealing with lots of odor and hazmat issues. Uh, it spreads very easily. Uh, we use leveling agents or wetting agents that allow you to push out the product over large areas. If you're doing many thousands of square feet, that makes a big difference in your production and overall ease of use. Uh, we use uh, curing agents that are very chemically resistant. It's called a cycloaliphatic curing agent. Much more chemical resistant than a standard store-bought epoxy. And then the product itself has good color retention, good color reflectivity. You can uh, purchase the product with the color already in it, or you can add in color, lots of color options via using metallic, or using broad, uh, broadcasting in flakes, or color quartz. So you end up with a very tough coating that's easy to use, non-hazardous, and uh, gives you great chemical resistance, and a lot of color options for interior floor and wall applications.
the concrete needs to be in good condition, in sound condition, before you coat with the Chem 100. Uh, you want to make sure that you're bonding to a good sound surface. Uh, it, uh, if there's cracks or if there's spalls or uh, divots in the floor, they should be filled first, patched first, and then ground flush, and then you go over with the Chem 100. It makes a big difference in terms of the overall appearance and also in the overall uh, performance of the epoxy coating. We highly recommend that you patch any cracks or holes in the concrete before you coat it with the Chem 100. That will make a big difference in terms of the overall appearance of the floor and also in the performance. You can patch uh, or fill cracks with our uh, crack filler product. That's a high build epoxy filler that can be poured into those areas and spread out. Or you can mix sand into it and make a patching material. So that's a great option for uh, fixing those areas, or you can use cementitious material and grind them flush before you uh, coat over with the uh, Chem 100 epoxy. If you have moisture in your concrete, it can cause the epoxy to go hazy or go milky. Uh, it can lead to fish eyeing and blistering, and actually it can cause the epoxy to blister and peel off the surface. So it's very important to make sure you don't have a lot of moisture or moisture drive in the concrete. Uh, if there's a sealer, an existing sealer on the concrete, the problem there is it can uh, affect the adhesion or the bond of the Chem 100 to the concrete. So again, it's important to remove that bond breaker, that barrier to adhesion before you coat with the Chem 100. A simple test to uh, check if there's an existing sealer on the floor is to use what we call a water test. And that you simply sprinkle water or pour water on the floor and you check to see how long it takes to soak into the concrete. If it soaks in within about five minutes, then you're good to go as far as applying the epoxy coating. If that water beads up and takes a long time to soak in or doesn't soak in at all, then you need to remove that existing coating or sealer by sanding it off, grinding it off, or etching it off the surface. So you can add color to clear epoxy. Our Chem 100 comes in a water clear version and lots of options there to add color. We have uh, metallic colors, we have uh, solid colors, which can be mixed in at the time of application to give you nice uh, color, good reflective color. Or we can, uh, you can broadcast in color flakes, vinyl chips, blends of different colored vinyl, uh, or color quartz. So lots of options to add color into the Chem 100 clear sealer. You can apply Chem 100 over an existing coating, an, exist, an existing paint, epoxy paint. You want to make sure that it's well bonded though. Uh, the original paint is well bonded to that surface. If it's lifting and peeling and you apply the Chem 100 to that, then that will also lift and peel. So the overall um, success depends on how well that existing paint is bonded to the surface. Uh, either way, you need to sand the surface the existing paint, clean off the dust, wipe it off with a solvent, xylene or acetone, uh, and then you can coat with the Chem 100. So the ideal temperature ranges for the Chem 100 are around 65 degrees Fahrenheit up to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That way you get a nice application of the product is easy to use and you have plenty of working time. Uh, you can apply down to 55 degrees Fahrenheit but the epoxy itself will be much thicker and it will take much longer to dry. So we recommend applying between 65 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit for the Chem 100.
So the pot life for an epoxy coating is the maximum amount of time you have to work with the product once it's been mixed. Epoxies are typically two part. You mix them together and then you have this uh, working time or pot life to use the product. Um, it's important to stay within that working time so that you can spread the product out, you can roll it out. Once you apply past the pot life, then the product becomes very thick, it doesn't bond as well to the uh, f surface, and the physical properties are compromised. So it's very important that you stay within the pot life or working time of the epoxy coating. So Chem 100 takes about 12 hours, 8 to 12 hours to dry. And as long as you recoat it within the first 24 hours, you can recoat it without having to do any more surface prep, as long as the surface is clean. Once you're outside that 24-hour uh, recoat window, then you need to sand the surface, clean up the dust, or wipe off with a acetone or xylene, and then you can reapply with the Chem 100. So Chem 100, if it's properly applied and uh, maintained, should last five years plus. It's a very tough epoxy. It's a high build, got good color, color retention, good chemical resistance, and good wear resistance. Chem 100 is an excellent choice as a basement coating. You have lots of uh, color options, lots of ways of bringing a lot of light and color and reflectivity into your basement space. It's important to make sure though that you, if there's moisture in the concrete, in the concrete slab, that you address that first. You can contact our tech support to give you advice on that. But providing that you've got the moisture under control, then the Chem 100 is an excellent choice for a basement coating.